So the story is getting really interesting in terms of the beginning of the real container being created and that it has come to the point of our species through indirect means is being shut down, it seems. And it's, it looks as though the nefarious freaking nutballs are attempting to you know, take control of the planet in a much higher way by implementing a 5G surveillance state and getting humans into the habit of being locked down and not being able to travel because of some sort of a, a vaccination passport or, you know, it's the beginning of the, the tentacles closing in. And it's like, if you look at the image behind me, and this is comes from Gregory in free space, who is a member of the first synergy team. And this is a universal shape. It's a universal structure. It's something that we need to study in a much deeper way. And so many of our scientists are looking the wrong way in their research because their funding depends upon supporting organizations, institutions, and families that deep down don't have the good of the species at heart, what they have is the good of their own bloodlines. And this is one of the deeper underlying foundational, let's say problems at the heart of our species in that, you know, there's a, a great deal of competitive edge happening underneath the, the surface and, and the, the, the entertainment surface is a disinformation campaign put there to have humans thinking about other things rather than what's at the heart of the matter, right? Like if you're always on the surface, you don't get to inside to the real free space. This is a, a, a concept that's coming to me through, through Gregory Shepard. And this is linked into a zero space. This map being a first move, being a, a move before moves. And we're building a game board where each, I think each person comes on and makes a move and then fills, I think 144 spots. And that could be how to create the shared knowledge community, something <laughs> I'd never thought of before. How could I? It's creative. It's a, an original idea, or maybe lots of people have the idea. We don't know. But Gregory is coming up with a, a library to bring in ideas and not just bring in ideas, but to, to help people bring these ideas into the world. That's what we need is new ideas, good ideas. And so what I have is like this universal business system that uh, can supposedly, because it's still a theory, can bring people together to take an idea and bring it into the world. And because we're all such independent little creators, artists, inventors, or whatever we are. And each of us has an idea and each of us is using our time, you know, hopefully following our interests and doing something very fascinating to us. And yet it's not always so easy to bring our work together. And to do so, you know, again, you need structure. And what, what you see behind me is this a structure. So now if this is actually at, let's say, at the base of our physics, this Taurus energy field. And I don't know, like I look at science these days because of what has happened to my own mind. And, you know, we, we need the science of systems. We need... I, in many ways, some ways might be called nexialism, but it's a science that's a meta sort of science to look at how do all the sciences come together? You know, we need a holistic approach to how these uh, different parts of our world interact and they interact all as a one system, but then we give these words to denote all the differences within all these parts. But these words may not actually give good I guess, credence to the actual function or what is actually occurring or like what is nature and how do all these pieces and parts fit together? Because if, if we're slaughtering all the animals 
And that's within our, let's say, economic system. And it's okay. It's, it's like having this economic system that's obliterating the sun or, you know, again, poisoning the air or, you know, uh, poisoning the water. It's like the very things that we're using to live, the way we live is killing it. You know, this is utter stupidity, right? And this is at the heart of human, I guess, audacity these days to think that we have the right to overstep our bounds and ruin everything for everything. That we are the only species that get to do this and we have the right to do this because somewhere within our laws, it says so. And if you go against these laws, well, you're going to go to jail. So if you actually try to protect Mother Earth or you try to protect animals, children, trees, the old growth forests, you are at odds with the whole system. Because within this system, they don't have protective measures for that which can't protect themselves. And so you get this predator, predator nature that is eating so many things that are good. And the good people who supposedly, you know, have a good heart and don't want to harm anybody and actually want to contribute in a good loving way to the world are sort of, I don't know, getting slaughtered, but are seem powerless to do anything about these larger issues we're facing. And we, and we, we constantly get reminded of this through these elections, which, you know, elect a bunch of idiots to power who basically all seem to have a, a problem with true justice or, or, or uh, the integrity of their governing body, their oath. You know, time and time again, we find that the, the corporate infrastructure and the governing body are all together and they're kind of controlled by this banking interest. They're controlled by usury. They're controlled by people and bloodlines and families who've been around for a long time and they've been doing funny business for a long time and now their time is over because the time of the bloodline being more important than the species means that all the other bloodlines get the dirt end of the stick and every human being, in my opinion, has to have the opportunity to create the lifestyle that they want without doing harm to others. And so this is this huge balancing act between the individual and the collective and looking at, you know, well, what, what does that mean? Like, does it mean one acre? Does it mean 10 acres? Does it mean 20? Does it make it a thousand? Like, what does a human being need to live? What does a family need to live? And then what is gross excess? What is the stuff remaining that is maybe per perhaps part of a collective pool at different levels, but then is being siphoned by certain people, again, bloodlines, individuals, families, institutions, corporations, whoever they are, because different people get pieces of the pie as they go up. But the collective um, results are that our species is heading to, into oblivion and also galactic embarrassment. I, I think that there's a other life out there and, and it's, I don't think that's a big step to go. And that life is either watching us or has imprisoned us because we're either a bunch of, you know, they, they look at us as <clears throat> psychopaths because of how we are. We're so violent, supposedly. And I, I, I think there's a, there's a place that we can get as a species where we really start to leave behind the concept of war and the concept that anything that violent is going to achieve the means that you want. I mean, most of these wars that have been fought, again, they're being designed by these bloodlines so they can take control of the place without us knowing it. And so when you control the media systems, you control the educational systems, you control all the systems in a sense, you can manipulate them to create certain results. And that's what's been going on. And so in my opinion, and I, I think the opinion is shared by a few others out there, is that's not a good idea. And that <laughs> we reach a point in our species and our evolution because of the internet, because I can do this right now. I can make a video and put it out to the world. And, you know, maybe it'll go nowhere, but maybe somebody will see it and something happens. But to, to, to really get organized 
you know, and that's what has to happen between all the good people on the planet is we have to build a whole new system. And what this <clears throat> structure is, and the fact that Gregory put it at a zero point in a place called free space, you know, and then I'm the next day, I'm making a, a video about it because I'm, I have a very secret plan. I'm Captain Sweep and I have been working with structures and I'm, I'm very interested in conceptual maps and how they work together in us to either help you learn, help you communicate, <clears throat> excuse me, how you create and how you heal. And if you look at those four parts, if a human being looks at how you learn, how do you create, how do you communicate, and how do you heal, if you're if you master these skills, all the other skills, all the other knowledge, everything else is at your fingertips in a different way than if you don't. And so the school of conscious communication, which is this new kind of concept of bringing your real life into a school like environment with other people so that it isn't school over here and then your life over here, which is the way they normally do it. You have to blend the two together. And because of the internet, because of videos, <clears throat> we can create our own schools. And why do we have to look to some corporate institution to give us permission around what we're gonna do in the school when they're the very problem that we're facing? And so the people who participate in the very secret plan or whatever comes out of free space because ideas are meeting now, you know, they understand, they have a philosophical nature. It isn't just programming from some source telling you what to do or who to be. We have to develop our own philosophies. We reach a level of sophistication in our minds, in our awareness, in our consciousness, that each of us has a responsibility to develop your mind and develop how you think and develop how you interpret the world and also get to a place where maybe you don't use your mind and maybe no mind is great too. And there's a way to get there. And when we place ourselves, our mind or our brain or us at the center point of this field, perhaps that's a structure that we can use to program and then understand how we use time and our mind to interact with space and our body. And so this is a message. And I put this forward to the members of Synergy 001 and, and start to think about the idea that you're gonna have a move, that you're gonna follow a sequence and you're bringing something in and maybe your gift, it may be something else, maybe something where you go, that's the next move. And we learn as a team how to come together for us to make moves where we get the support of everyone, but we're also following a, this game and, and we're creating a whole new world. And this world is gonna happen for the majority of people through these computer screens. And we, we have to take control of them. We have to understand what software is and we have to understand how we share knowledge, the kind of knowledge we share. What relevance do we give to the information that we're looking at when we're seeing it on the screen? And then how do we interact with other team members around this to create opportunities, to run our business, to uh, provide for our families and to build a lifestyle where you can live anywhere in the world with a laptop. And so we can get out of the big cities and move into small little eco communities where we actually can build a lifestyle together and we can live in, the, in a different environment than, than the big cities. And I think that's, that's a huge move for us all right now and very important. And we have to figure out how to do it in a fun way. And so this is hopefully part of it, of you seeing this video and getting inspired and going, hey, I wanna play in the game. I wanna be in the plan. I wanna participate. How do I do so? And that's how we start to, to get the numbers because you're either in the game or you're watching it, but if you're not aware of it at all, you have no plan. You're basically in someone else's plan. And, and if you're not in this plan, you know, 
there, there's some big things going on and people are giving a lot of time and attention to diversions and distractions. And they've turned their eyes isn't on the ball and they don't see what's going on. So let's, let's figure this out together. And if you watch this, it means that I, I have a lot of respect and love for you. I'm sending this to the people that I know. And uh, I know some of you have been paying attention, but most of you haven't. Mm -hmm. But now the game is afoot. Let's see what to do. The time is now. Let's do it.